<laughs> Hi again, <coughs> Scott V here. I think I got the uh, music and sound turned down a bit, and there's been an update. So now I'm at 1.4.6. I think all they added uh, primarily was enchantment books, uh, fireworks, a couple other things. We'll see if uh, you know I can't really change my survival plans to go testing all this new stuff right away. But, I need to start on the uh, next logical step, since I have iron, lots of iron tools and gadgets. Really what I need to do is just get out there, do some mining, and uh, hopefully find some diamonds. Diamonds are the, uh, the key to uh, really moving on in the world. You gotta make a diamond pickaxe to uh, get obsidian, to make portals to get down to the nether. So, uh, diamonds it is. I'm gonna hop down in my chasm and see if I can find anything. Um, odds are most of this will just be sped up because uh, mining is not fun to watch, but I will certainly uh, tune back in when I find something. I meant to bring a bucket of water. Do I have? Oh, I have a bucket. Uh, now water is funny stuff. It really is just way overpowered. A single bucket of water can hold like a small lake once you drop it. I mean, this is this right here is a single bucket of water, and it was filling in all that area. Uh, interesting mechanics, but uh, definitely on the the warped side. Now I'm going to just check my depth. I am at a depth of 43, so any picking I do is going to be considerable to get down to what we really want to find is water and uh, diamonds and lava. Once you've got uh, once you've got lava, if you got a bucket of water, you can dump the water on the lava to make obsidian, but you need a diamond pickaxe to mine the obsidian. So, I doubt I'm going to get all of that done today, but why not take a shot at it? So some iron. In fact, I'm going to dig down a bit, and I'm probably going to build a, a uh, li little workstation down there, interrupted by a sales call. Okay, back. So, unfortunately, the real world intruded briefly. How bizarre. That, that, that's a new thing. It's showing you your currently active item, iron pickaxe, down at the bottom. Well, that's a change. Anyway, once I get down to a considerable depth, I will probably build a little uh, work base, a base of operations. Now, what those usually are is just a crafting table, a chest, maybe a forge, so I can forge materials without going back to the surface. Uh, let me see. main thing to do is find a pool of lava, because uh, certainly a, around there it always seems like the most diamonds are in the most dangerous spots. Do I not have a shovel again? I do not have a shovel. Oh well, shovels are kind of silly. Whatever you can do with a shovel, you can do with a block of whatever's in your hand. And not have to keep spending resources making shovels. There's some kind of a zombie going on in the walls. Check my depth. 17, alright. So, I'd, off the top of my head I'd say 16 is usually the lava level. Once I get down to this level, I usually just branch out a little. Looking for lava in all the wrong places. And here's some lapis. A fam famous ancient blue dye from the Middle East. Urgh, he sounds unhappy. Listening carefully. That blorpy sound is lava. Okay. Uh, now, what direction is that? I 
it's on the right, but I believe my speakers are reversed. So I'm willing to bet the lava's on the left here. Now one trick with lava, you always need to have a uh, block in your hand ready to block it off when you hit it. If it comes rolling on in at you. There we go. Found it. Lava! Yay! Now lava is really just neat stuff. First of all, it's a free source of light. But in this case, how big is it? It's a fairly large chunk. Now there's probably also monsters here. Now what I'm going to do first off, drop my water and hear that? Just turned all that nearby lava into obsidian. So I now have a source of obsidian, but I really need to go and secure some of this territory. There's a glow. There's more lava. Yay! Now this one here... I'm thinking of just cutting this one off at the bud. Like usual, I don't care if spiders come through, but that will keep creepers off my back. Alright, so there's a good bunch of resources here. Water, lava. Now I got my obsidian. And all I'm lacking now, here's some redstone, which is used for making circuitry, compasses, all kinds of fun stuff. I think even maps. So, now I just need some diamonds. But, since I think I've got a good little spot to work from, let me see if I brought enough materials to make a little workshop right here. I need a... oh yeah, plenty. So I'll do a uh, crafting table. And in the crafting table, I will make a forge. Uh, one of the quirks with this is I'm not going to have any idea what daytime is, you know, what time of day it is up there. Uh, so there we go. And we'll put the chest right here. So hopefully I'll find something uh, decent. Uh, the main thing to do with lava is to stop saying um. Just mine around it. And some of the fi items will fall in and sizzle. And if you fall in, you'll burst into flames and sizzle and probably die also. Um, let me see. I can actually make a little more obsidian here. You drop it and then quickly pick it up again. And now this whole area is safe to walk on. Now when you mine obsidian, you, ha you can pretty well e expect there's going to be lava right under it. So it really is kind of a uh, tricky thing to work around. And it looks like this was just a little tiny lake, so I'm not seeing not seeing any real ores spawning here, although I will grab the gold. Do not fall in. Okay. Oh, one of the golds fell in. Oh well. Can't win them all. Here we go. Here's another scary looking location. Now remember, Diamonds are generally below a certain level, about level 16, level 12 is where you're going to find most of your diamonds. So once you've been down low, heading up higher is not going to net you diamonds. You might get your, your butt blown up by a creeper, though. All right, so here we are running from a creeper. Is he going to come down? Come on. Come on, you nut. Yeah. Yeah. Nope, can't get me. Yeah. Oh, I feel so bad. Not. <laughs> so anyway, a little iron. Gotta have your daily iron supplement. 
That was rather a sad demise for that creeper, but I'm not going to feel bad. I am going to block this off. Clearly, if I'd blocked it off first, that creeper would not have gotten near me. Oh, look, another... Well, that's unfortunate. This, for now, I'm just going to say... Ain't here, didn't see it. You can't make me go up there. Thank you. Alright, well, I need diamonds, diamonds, diamonds. But for now, I'll just grab some coal. Because that's always good. My axe is almost gone. Let me do a quick repair. Put the two broken axes together. Get one slightly less broken axe. And look, more danger. Okay, well... Should I even stick my head up there? That's probably a bad idea. Let's see, how bad of an idea was this? That is a big open space. Probably the bottom of a chasm. Kind of fun exploring. Oh good, it narrows off. There's really no ores up here. Narrows off nicely. And I can easily block it. So, this area here is kind of secure. I am hungry. Hungry hippo, come on. Okay, really lacking in ore. My depth now is 27, so I'm way out of the... Uh, range where you would expect to find diamonds. Now this direction looks fairly scary. Let me put a quick torch there. Yeah, that's not going to be defendable. So, heading on down, and for right now, just to be safe, I'll block that off. Now, I really needed my diamonds. I got the obsidian, I just don't have a way to mine it. Do a quick run around the edges here. Let's see if there's anything good here in the walls. I'm thinking it's not. All right. Well, that was not too thrilling. But right now that I have a, a work area, I can cook up iron right here. Can make a new pickaxe right here, and stay down here a bit longer. All right, but no diamonds that direction. Let me see. I'm just gonna have to set out. There's really no clues which direction are, is going to work here. Getting louder though. All right, now the lava could come pouring in for any one of these hits. It sounds like it's this way. There it is. Ah, much bigger lava pit. Right down at bedrock level. This looks hopeful. Like I say, it's free light, but it's also mighty dangerous. So, I'm going to dump some water on here. Make a little safe zone. Pick it up again right away. And see if we got any minerals. There's your diamonds right there. See, I told you they was going to be here. So if I can get three diamonds, oh there we go, nice catch. Three diamonds, I can get a diamond pickaxe. 
and then I can mine the obsidian, and then I can make a gate, and then I can go to hell and get my, my rear end kicked all which ways by uh, the nether stuff. Alright, well, that's something to look forward to. Mission accomplished. I will run back to my uh, little workshop, get to work on this. I do like to completely clear away the edges of each lava lake. It just makes it so much easier to get around. Yes, I'm skipping some uh, coal and stuff. But now I've seen the whole outline of the lake. Note the extra darkness, since we're way down low. This is actually, th there's an anti-light or an unlight that comes up from the uh, bedrock layer, which uh, makes torches not carry over such a long distance. Uh, lights just don't work the way you expect them to. It's just extra dark. That's all there is to say about that. Dark and creepy. Well, check it out. Here we go. Making progress. Now I have a diamond pickaxe. While I'm at it, just because I'm running out of spaces to hold stuff, I will do an iron pickaxe, just to repair that. I'll leave a few of the cobble in the chest, because that's the least interesting stuff. And I now have a diamond pickaxe, so I can now start harvesting some of this obsidian. Trick with obsidian. You can pretty well be guaranteed there's going to be lava beneath it. So the, the safety trick, probably not the end one. And it does take a while to chip away one of these. Now with obsidian you need, I believe, ten of them to make a gate. And you need four or something of them, plus a diamond or two, to make an enchantment table. So here's the trick for harvesting obsidian safely. If there's lava under here, the water will get in there and neutralize the lava. Actually, it'll do it so fast before the obsidian pops out and can fall in the lava, the water will have canceled out the lava. Now, that is some weird chemistry. Alright, chop, 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 chop. No lava yet, but there's my obsidian. Now, if you want to check your progress, I'd like to get 12 of these. Now, if you want to check your progress, you want to put the item that you're uh, looking for in your, your hotbar. So now I can see I have three of them. Now I can see I have number four of them. Ooh, do not go in there, or the water will push you into the lava if there happens to be some. Okay, well, this is going to be kind of a long process. But here we go. That's going to be number five. Obsidian is the hardest substance in the regular Minecraft that you can actually uh, dig through. Uh, there's also bedrock, uh, which you can't dig through by any means, because if you did, you would fall through the bottom of the planet. Because that's the weird science we've got going here. So here's seven. Like I say, I want twelve of these, even though it's going to take a while. Chopping, chopping, chopping. Well, water flow's funny. It seems to go to the south and to the west. It's just bizarre. So these areas don't fill in with water when you chop them. But, jeez, get out of there. Alright, a couple more. Kind of waiting to hear the end of the day music. But once you've come down here, you really do just lose track of time. Ah, you see? The, uh, there was lava under there, and the water neutralized it before, I before my obsidian block could fall in there and be destroyed. Now, continuing along that logic, I'm now going to move my water bucket to right here and continue digging. I 
might be lava under this one. Poof! See that? The water neutralizes the lava. You have no chance of falling in the lava. The item that you mine doesn't fall in the lava. Just a good system. Yep, there we go. I got 12. But since this is all about having too much stuff, I'm going to grab a few more of these. Sizzle. I think for an enchanting table you need like two diamonds and th two uh, obsidian. Possibly four obsidian. So I'm going to grab uh, number 16 here. And now this is a nice resource. I can come back anytime with a bucket of water and grab some more. Pop sizzle. Mine. All mine. In fact, because I tend to be pretty organized, I will leave my bucket of water right here, next to my, my obsidian harvesting operation. That's the end of the day music, isn't it? Alrighty. Fine with me. Here's my exit. Once again, mark an exit with two torches going up. And I also can't work out any harvesting, so mission accomplished. Or she is, it'll be dark out now. You're never gonna get pulled up. Let's go, let's go. Oh, it's a competition. It's a big one. Alright, that's best. I'll be looking at that. I'll do it. I'll get back to my own. Fuck. That was fun. I think I have a workspace, though. You know, your workspace down below is not harvest. That's the reason you're working for the dungeons. Check down here. Sweet. Something be there. It's noon. I did all that before noon? Huh, I wonder if I missed a day. That is strange. Now, I already have enough materials that I can set up a gate to the nether dimension, also known as hell. Strange that that would be a goal. Normally you would think you'd want to stay away from a place like that. But there's a few items down there that you can't get anywhere else. Now, in a more in the recent Minecraft, somewhere around 1.3, 1.4, they decided it would be fun if creatures could pass through the gate from the other side. So one thing you don't want to do with a gate is build it real close to your house. Now, there's a couple things you need for a gate. One of them is you need a flint and steel to light the gate on fire to open it. But I don't even have a piece of flint. That's bizarre. Uh, flint comes from smashing gravel. So do I have gravel? I do not have gravel. Come on, how can you dig that much and not have gravel? Well, strangely, I now have to find some gravel. On the other hand, think of a good place to put the gate. I think at the bottom of that chasm might be an appropriate spot. Now, it's still noon, it's still so I still have time to play around some. And here is where I'm going to build my gate, the portal to the, the hell dimension. This looks like a nice big spot. Now the gate pattern is two blocks at the bottom, go up three on the sides. Oh, I hate it when I drop an extra one because it takes so long to chip them away. Okay. Now you don't actually have to put obsidian in the corners. So I'll put dirt in the corner then take it out. And that is the shape of a gate to the nether regions. What I'm missing is a flint and steel to turn that on. Because you have to ignite it to activate it. So let's see if I could get a flint out of this. Yep, here's my flint. Well, that's kind of unfortunate placement. It's right by my the opening to my uh, mine, so I may regret that. But 
flint and steel. I always get it mixed up. It's either that way or that way. Try them both. Here you go. Number five. Poof. Now this will take me straight to hell. Like a Sam Raimi movie. Hmm. I am not prepared to do that yet. Just wanted to show you how it's done. And it makes it more interesting, because now there could be little creatures from hell walking around down here next time I come back to check it out. So, I would say a mission accomplished on a bunch of things today. I got some diamonds, got my obsidian, uh, built my gate, opened it, and inviting all kinds of trouble. <laughs> and... I guess the funny bit will be when I show you how to survive your first few nights in the nether. And in the nether, time is even worse. There literally is no day or night. The nether is just a just non-stop dark gloomy mess that um, no nobody in their right mind would really want to spend much time in. But in order to make a brewing stand, you need blaze rods, which means you have to go to the nether, find a fortress, all kinds of stuff. So, let me go plant this stuff that I just picked up. A couple new seeds. I'll go from talking about hell to playing in my nice peaceful garden. Oh look! I have a, a creature, a pumpkin head already. So, as you can see, this little pumpkin plant grew to be mature, and then at some point after that it will start putting pumpkin heads on the any of the adjacent pieces of land. It doesn't have to be tilled land, these guys will be perfectly happy to drop pumpkins over there in the sand. So, I'm planting wheat in the middle, my pumpkins on the outside. And here we go. Pumpkin head, whack. As you can see, the pumpkin appearing actually untilled the soil, but it doesn't matter because pumpkins can grow on untilled soil without a problem extract four more pumpkin seeds and one, two, three, four. There we have it. I will till this because what I'm going for is having wheat over there and having the pumpkins drop their pumpkins over here outside of the tilled area. So that's good. So I'm going down. Wow. <laughs> it was way up there. Now it's gone. I will jump into bed. And I think that was all day 12, but I was down there for a while. So if the running time of the video is 24, then I guess it was day 12 and day 13. Well, I'll call it day 12. It ain't rocket science. I will see you next time.